Hello, I'm Dr. Tina Ramachandar. I'm into the practice of skin and hair and nail in its health, disease and aesthetics with a special interest in lasers and dermatosurgery. And I practice at Dr. Tina Skin Solutions in Sahakar Nagar, Bangalore. How do you get rid of sweat? Now, sweat is something you unfortunately cannot get rid of. Sweat is a very normal function of our body and it is a process where our body is removing waste and this is excreted through our glands. Now, sweat glands are of several types. The main two things are eccrine and apocrine gland. So, what you should be aware of is normal sweating is something which people are able to manage but when there is excessive sweating, it leads to an embarrassment because you cannot shake hands if your palms are very sweaty or your clothes show marks of sweat and this affects the quality of life for a lot of people. This is a silent disorder where many think of it as a normalcy but unfortunately it's not. Now coming to what exactly you can do to control the sweat. So in the market you have a lot of off-the-shelf antiperspirants and deodorants. How are these different? Now deodorants are products which will mask the smell of the sweat. So you have sweat, you have bacteria acting on the sweat and you have a deodorant which is also masking the sweat. So imagine the amount of clogging for your skin, right? It's something which is terrible. So another way in which medically you can help yourself is to understand that the smell which you perceive after sweating is because of a bacteria. Now the bacteria can be reduced by using benzoyl peroxide soaps or washes. This is a very safe way in which you can have a bath with it and reduce the amount of bacteria and thus nullifying the smell. So deodorants can also cause a lot of irritation on the skin. You have contact dermatitis, rashes, so many things for which you go to a doctor. The second thing is antiperspirants. Now what is an antiperspirant? Antiperspirant is an agent which will reduce the sweat secretion from the body. Now this is a product which will get into your skin, damage your superficial area, go to the gland and stop its production. So while this may help the issue, you should be aware that these agents can cause dryness of the mouth, the eyes, irritation locally and a lot of other health concerns as well. So while deodorants and antiperspirants are so commonly used and it is something off the shelf, you'll have to look out for your health as well. So the act of hyperhidrosis where it is very high sweat and it is affecting your quality of life, there are certain medical ways in which you can help yourself. There is a product like prescription medicine which you can take which will have aluminium hydroxide which can help reduce the sweat. The other options are like you have a procedure called as antiphoresis where you soak your palms for instance and the ionic change will reduce the sweat secretion. You have something called a sympathectomy where surgically these glands are reduced and there is also energy based device which uses microwave energy and this is something which helps people reduce the sweat in their underarms. So while this summer is here and you are suffering from excessive sweating, you don't have to suffer with it silently. This is something for which medically there are a lot of options. Don't blindly take an antiperspirant and a deodorant and slap it on your skin. It may be detrimental for your health.